Chris with Chris Fowler Outdoors. Today we're supposed to be bush hogging, working on our food, summer food plots. Unfortunately, the Chattahoochee River is within walking distance of where I hunt. Chris here with Chris Fowler Outdoors, providing you with information and tips to help grow your hunting and life experiences. This channel covers product reviews, how-tos, tips, and strategies. Thank you for visiting, and please consider subscribing. Today is episode one in Chris's Conservation Corner. We're going to talk today about deer management and the restocking of whitetail deer in the state of Georgia. Uh, this program is vital to the success that we have with hunting today. I want to ask you a question today. If you're a deer hunter in the state of Georgia, can you name me one of the most five important deer uh, in the restocking program in the state of Georgia? This affects where you hunt today. Uh, there is an individual that took this deer management and restocking serious and we're benefiting today from the hard work that he provided. Stay tuned, we'll give you the facts and the five names that you may have never heard of. Some time ago on the internet I stumbled across a document. It was a, a study done in March of 1975. Uh, this is what it looks like. We'll post a link to this in the video below if you'll look in the description. Uh, you can see the link to this. This has some great information. I want to cover a few things listed in this study today. Uh, but uh, the five deer that are most important in the state of Georgia. I want to answer your question. I want to answer your question today. The five uh, most important named deer in Georgia are uh, five phones that Arthur Woody, uh, conservation ranger, uh, had went and purchased, took his family, loaded them up in the Dodge, and headed to North Carolina. He purchased five phones and raised them and uh, turned them loose in the Blue Ridge, what we call today the Blue Ridge Management Area. Carolina. What a trip it must have been hauling five phones back uh, in a vehicle. Nimble, Billy, Nancy, Bessie, and Bunny Girl. Nimble, Billy, Nancy, Bessie, and Bunny Girl. These five phones were the uh, beginning of the restocking of deer in the state of Georgia. Uh, when settlers moved in, uh, the deer were taken. Uh, they were run with dogs in North Georgia and just depleted the whitetail population. Uh, it's rumored, it's said in the report that we mentioned that uh, possibly Arthur Woody's uh, dad killed uh, one of the last deer uh, in the state of Georgia. And this has affected him, according to the report, and uh, put him on a road to, to be a uh, conservation ranger. And uh, we're thankful today uh, the deer heads that I have here uh, are uh, no doubt descendants of those animals. But uh, thinking about it today, I uh, took a trip this morning to the Chattahoochee River, got to trout fish a little bit, and uh, thought about uh, the deer that were released. I want to give you some facts about where I hunt and how uh, the restocking and the efforts of Arthur Woody and those that followed after him affected me directly with my deer hunting uh, here in the state of Georgia. According to the reference report, in 1962 uh, there were 32 uh, whitetails released uh, in Forsyth County along the Chattahoochee River. Uh, now, my, my grandfather uh, lived on the Gwinnett County side of the Chattahoochee River. That's where I hunt, hunt at now. And uh, according to him, he's passed on, can't go back and ask him. But he always said they came down and uh, they released some of those deer on the Gwinnett County side, just, just there below his house. Uh, so 1962, there were 32 deer from Texas uh, released. Think about that. That's only 50... That's only 50 something years uh, that the restocking program uh, had, had been in effect. Uh, and now today uh, in, in Georgia, uh, the amount of deer, one, over a million deer in the state of Georgia, and they were restocking these up till 1974. I want you to think about uh, your part in conservation today. Uh, what can we do as hunters and individuals 
uh, to uh, promote uh, hunting and whitetail. Uh, I think about today, we're not in a shortage of whitetails. Uh, there's no restocking needed. Uh, there are ample uh, number of whitetail deers. Let me tell you what we are in short of, hunters. We're in short of young men and young women growing up seeing their mom and dads hunt and be in the field, uh, carrying them hunting and fishing and exposing them to the great outdoors. Uh, one of my greatest uh, blessings as a child, I say this, I only went on one vacation. Uh, Dad carried us to Disney World uh, one time. It snowed and sleeted while we were down there. Uh, right after it opened, it carried us. And, uh, but all my other uh, vacations were trout fishing, hunting, trout fishing, hunting, camping adventures, and uh, I just loved them. I grew up that way and uh, been one of the most greatest blessings of my life has been able to, uh, to live and enjoy the outdoors. Um, thinking about that, whether it was Nimble, Nimble Wheel Creek, Cooper's Creek, Lake Dockery, caught my first trout uh, up in Lake Dockery. Uh, grew up uh, just enjoying uh, the outdoors and realizing these parks and the trout and the hatcheries, uh, there was uh, people that came before us uh, that looked ahead and say, hey, uh, we need to make a difference here. We need to ensure uh, that folks, uh, my grandsons, my granddaughters are going to have opportunity uh, to enjoy the outdoors as I have. So uh, I challenge you today. I want you to think seriously about uh, if you're getting on up in age and you've enjoyed years of hunting and fishing, uh, maybe in your state here in Georgia uh, where I live, I challenge you. Uh, let's put some effort in educating uh, our, young, our young ones. Uh, introduce them to the outdoor. Uh, I'll give you in my little about page, I challenge each one of you uh, to carry youth hunting today. That's where uh, that we're starving today. That's where the numbers are going down today. Uh, moms and dads aren't hunting today. They're not carrying the children. They got their phone, uh, got the game on the phone, and that, that's all they're concerned with. Uh, think about it today. Maybe you have children, grandchildren. You're never taking them hunting. You're never taking them fishing. I encourage you. Think about the enjoyment that you had in your lifetime as doing this. The Pittman Robinson Acts. Act was voted on in 1937. Basically this act was to put a tax on firearms and ammunition and what they did is they took this money and uh, they divided it up across the state giving uh, states up to 75 percent funding on approved projects through this money. Uh, this uh, was one of the great conservation uh, that our uh, yes our US government actually got something right uh, back in those days and uh, these dollars were set aside for management areas and different things so I want you to consider that today that you know uh, our uh, the, the enjoyment that we're getting today has been being paid on since July 1st 1938 uh, that this tax went in uh, went into uh, uh, law so uh, just want to say that uh, there is a need for conservation today this eight pointer was killed uh, in Gwinnett County. It's one of the descendants of the 32 deer that was placed uh, by the Game and Fish uh, on the restocking program back in 1962. Uh, it's just a great deer, it's great mass, uh, awesome. Got to kill it with my son uh, sitting in the stand with, with me uh, with a bow at 50 yards. Uh, what a great hunting memory I have with this deer. Uh, but uh, just want to say that uh, realizing that in 1962, uh, there were 32 deer stocked, and that was because of Arthur Woody and his conservation efforts that started in uh, 1927 uh, when he went to North Carolina and picked up these five fawns. So think about that today. Somebody had a hand in your success today in conservation. A great uh, forest ranger uh, gave a quote one time. He said, I make a thousand dollars a day. It's mostly in scenery. That was back in the 40s, I believe, when he made that quote. Today, uh, we're just enjoying the outdoors, thanking the Lord for what he's blessed us with. Chris Fowler, Chris Fowler Outdoors.
Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.